Let's start um, like that. Absolutely. I have a rather unpopular view from most people, um, which is, you know, a lot of young people you ask this question will probably um, tell you they're not very optimistic, they're not very um, 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 happy. And while I acknowledge there are a lot of challenges, I have never been more optimistic about the future of this country than I am now. Fantastic. And perhaps it's because I'm an avid reader of history. Mm. Um, I remember in 1971, um, again, I wasn't born then. I was born in 1991, maybe 20 years later. <laughs> but from the history, you know, in 1971, um, the U.S. unpegged from the gold standard. Mm. And that was a very tumultuous time for the U.S., mm. right? Because ultimately, you know, um, currencies need to float. Things need to be priced in real time mm -hmm. uh, and so on and so forth. Um, but unfortunately, the U.S. economy was sort of weighted uh, to the to the gold at that time, yes, yeah. and had to be unhitched from that, and it was done by a very unpopular president that we know today as Nixon. Yeah, the guy that was uh, impeached. It was impeached. Yeah. But if you looked, if you look at America since 1971, you know, shortly after you had the internet come up, um, started in 1968, the internet became a real thing. Sort of 20 years later, um, you looked at um, the rise of personal computers. I think Microsoft was established in 1975. Mm. Um, you think about technological advancements mm. since 1971 till today, right? Mm. And you see where it has taken the economy. You will realize that that was the single unlock for an extremely deflationary trend that meant that productivity ballooned. And today, the America of today versus the America of 1971 is far from, from the same. It's mm. probably been the lo longest run of 50 years of prosperity. Right. Um, and that was just 50 years ago. Mm. Um, I feel like we're in a 1971 moment in Nigeria. Wow. Two big shifts. First of all, um, our currency is cheaper. We're one of the cheapest currencies in the world for the first time. And a lot of young people may not understand the significance. But the truth is, prior to now, what we called prosperity was really just us, you know, fueling incredible amounts of debt and cheating our children, right? Um, because we were living in an unsustainable economy, an economy where you know, 10 years ago or, five, or maybe more like 15 years ago, an entry level employee of a bank could book a ticket to Paris. <laughs> that is unsustainable, right? An mm. economy where we weren't paying the full price of energy, right? Mm. And government was taking our oil wealth and subsidizing essentially consumption. Mm. Now we have created this economic, we have built an economy or we are rebuilding an economy on fundamentals. First of all, now our currency is cheap, which means our labor is actually more priced mm. everywhere in the world, right? The minimum wage today is about $40, right? A month, right? Which means that there are a lot of jobs that our young people before would have considered not worth their time that today, um, especially in the digital economy are now finally worth their time. Okay. And I know a lot of smarter entrepreneurs would take advantage of it. Well, it won't be 70,000 uh, monthly. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be we're more than that, of right? Course. But the idea is that's a benchmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And think about yeah. exports as well. Now our exports are some of the cheapest in the world. Now right. it actually makes sense to produce in Nigeria, mm. even with the high cost of energy, because labor is fairly cheap, mm. right? That's true. Um, with energy costs, we are finally getting rid of a subsidy regime which means Nigerians have been extremely wasteful <laughs> when it comes to their energy usage. I, I, I see why you said that your views may not be popular. They are not popular. We're a wasteful country. People put on the lights. <laughs> People drive SUVs like as if it's the, pure the, water. The minister said this and he got into trouble. Well, I'm not the minister. So <laughs> exactly. I, can say, I can say this very, <laughs> very boldly. Um, <laughs> so we're a wasteful society. And now we are learning economics. Mm. And um, it's painful. Learning economics is not easy. I, me, I have now apps in my house that are turning off my light. I'm watching it. I'm watching my bill per second per second on my phone, right? Um, I've, I'm thinking about changing my cars now because mm. I can't afford the gas guzzling. It's too much on me. I'm not. I'm looking at changing out my car. You, you, you are, you are, you are a owner of a unicorn. Come on, stop talking yes, like that. Yes, but if I 
If I spend all the money, <laughs> of course, I won't have any any more, and I'll be begging on the streets. Of course, of course. So, so this is an opportunity for young people. Maybe for the old people who are set in their ways, that is the end. It is this signals the end of many empires, mm. right? Um, and I'm very happy about that. But this signals a new beginning for Nigeria's youth. Um, and if they have the right perspectives and they take advantage of the emerging opportunities, mm. 20 years from now, we'll be talking about a different set of people from Dangote and so on. And that's wow. exactly the desire, I believe, of